I just wanted to document the results of a little experiment that I did today. Here are two amplifier modules out of an old organ. I won't be doing anything with the amplifiers because they do have a very, very primitive circuit. However, since these are two of the same modules, they should have two transformers with the same specifications, which is really quite handy because you could use these to build an isolation transformer. And in fact, that might actually be a future video on this channel. Now, of course, I wanted to put that theory to the test. And while I was at it, I decided to also take a look at the influence of well, certain conditions, I guess you could call them. <laughs> Couldn't find a better term. Uh, number one, the input voltage. Uh, I do have this isolation transformer. The problem is it does put out a significantly higher voltage than the mains, which I have up there. So the question is, how much does a different mains input voltage change the voltage of the secondaries. Next question, what sort of an influence does the multimeter have? So here is a rather cheap UNI-T multimeter, just a small one. And then up here we have a much higher-ended bench type multimeter. And don't be tricked by the fact that it says BK precision on there. That doesn't sound like much. However, this thing was, I think it was built by GW Instec, and it was also available batched as HP. So this thing can't be that bad. So this is an expensive multimeter. This is a cheap multimeter. Does it make much of a difference. So let's take a look at the results. I have this rather confusing table here. First, the input voltage. The line voltage on the UNI-T meter measured 231, and it didn't really change at all, so that was nice. The BK precision, <laughs> well, that's a bit of a trap. The ground on this is actually grounded. So if you do try to measure the mains, you're going to be generating a very big spark. So don't do that. The isolation transformer, significantly higher output voltage, 244 or 245 on the BK Precision. And rather annoyingly, as the isolation transformer warms up, the voltage actually rises. So as you can see, I got this sort of a range. So I did make sure to turn the isolation transformer off in between taking measurements. So rather quite significant difference, as you can clearly see. These are the secondary voltages, which I'm not going to read to you. However, I am going to quickly explain the conclusions. The Transformer number one and the transformer number two are in fact very much identical. In fact, there is a few hundred millivolts of difference in between the two with each type of measurement that I took. So I will in fact be able to turn these into an isolation transformer. That's nice. The influence of the different meters was, well, not quite as significant as you may think. It's a few hundred millivolts. And of course, the thing is with this uh, higher-ended bench type multimeter, it does give you a very precise reading. Uh, in fact, the precision went down to one millivolt for all the AC measurements that I took. However, with that sort of a precision, you can't really do much of anything because, well, number one, the reading keeps jumping around, even if the uh, inputs are not open like they are right now. And it all depends. I guess if the transformer gets warm, the voltage is going to change by a couple of millivolts. So I'd actually say the cheap 
multimeter might actually be more helpful because it uh, in the AC range that I used it gives you a precision of 100 millivolts and uh, that does give you a pretty good idea of what you're looking at so to say it for short it doesn't really matter if you use a bench type multimeter or the small multimeter the precision is good enough now lastly the influence of the different mains voltages and that as you probably expected is very very significant in fact we're looking at a difference of between one and two volts between running the transformers on the mains and running the transformers on the isolation transformer so even though it's not as safe I will not be using the isolation transformer to measure unknown transformer output voltages because it just throws off your reading quite significantly so that's it that was a rather boring and probably quite confusing video so <laughs> anyway thanks for watching